Is BTEC food technology better than BSC food technology? In this video, I am going to simplify the difference between BTEC program and BSC program and stay till the end because I am also going to tell you whether you should go for BSC program or BTEC program. Stay tuned. A very happy Republic Day to all the viewers who are watching this video right now. Welcome back to the channel. This is Arib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos, career guidance and exam guidance videos as well so that you can level up your profile and simplify your studies. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Now there is a lot of misconception among the students and among the parents as well whether uh, the students should go for BTEC program or whether they should go for BSc program. And usually uh, people think that BTEC program is better than BSc program. And in the first place, uh, you should not compare BTEC with BSc. It is like comparing apples with oranges. These two are different programs. These two are designed to serve uh, separate purposes. Let me clarify the difference so that it is easier for you to understand and choose for yourself. Now one difference that you might already know, that you might be already aware is that BSc program is of three years. Now I'm not talking about BSc honors because that could be a four years program, but the BSc, the general BSc program is usually three year program. Whereas on the other hand, BTEC program is a four year program. In case of BSc, the course, the content, the curriculum is more theory based, it's more theoretical. Whereas on the other hand, in BTEC program, the content is not only theoretical, but it is also practical in nature. There are a lot of workshops and practicals that are being held in BTEC programs usually. So that means BSc program is based on pure science and BTEC program is based on applied science. That means whatever the uh, science that you have learned, whatever is the theory part, you are going to apply that in BTEC program. But in BSc program, you are going to study them. You are going to uh, understand the theoretical terms, the principles, the laws behind the applications. Now, BSc program is less rigorous or less demanding as compared to BTEC program. Now that we are comparing because uh, the comparison should not be uh, done in the first place. But since we are comparing, BSc program is a little bit easier and BTEC program is more demanding and more challenging. Now, if I summarize the difference between BTEC and BSc, so BSc is basically less rigorous, less demanding, and it is more theoretical and research oriented. Whereas on the other hand, BTEC is not only theoretical, but it is also practical in nature. It is also like uh, applied sciences. So you get to know what are the principles that are being applied. You not only study the principles, but also study how to apply them. Wherein, uh, whereas in the case of BSc, you get to understand uh, the laws and the theories that are behind the application. Now let us talk whether you should choose BSc program or BTEC program. So uh, I'm expecting that you are in class 12th right now and you are watching this video and you are confused about whether you should choose a BSc program or BTEC program. Uh, and I'm expecting that in class 12th you have chosen PCB or PCBM or PCM. Either of these three combinations. Now. Uh, Given that you have, you are from the science stream, you must have studied chemistry. Now I'm just taking an example. So in the chemistry section, you there is theoretical part and there is obviously the laboratory part, the practical part as well. So uh, just ask yourself, did you enjoy the theoretical part or did you enjoy the practical part? Same goes for physics. Did you enjoy the theoretical part, the laws and the theories of physics or did you enjoy uh, the practical part, the laboratory part of physics. Now, if you are interested in the theoretical part, in studying the theoretical part, then definitely go for BSc program. But if you are interested in applying that theory into real life application, then you should go for BTEC program. One another important factor that I would like to mention over here is the financial side of this. Now, if you are struggling financially, uh, so I would like to mention that BTEC program is more costlier. The fees of the BTEC program is higher when compared to BSc program. So it is completely fine if you are struggling uh, financially, you can choose BSc program and then later go for MSc program. Another point that I would like to mention over here is that BSc is not bad and BTEC is not good. Both of these uh, programs are separate and both of these serve two different purposes. So BTEC is usually developed for the industries, for the food industries. So if you are interested, if you want to work in the food industries, then a BTEC student is more likely to be hired as compared to BSc or the growth of a BTEC student is uh, more likely to be better as compared to BSc if both the candidates are going in a food industry. 
But when it comes to uh, research positions, then BSc and MSc are much better because they are more well versed with the theoretical part, with the principles and the theories of the subject. So it is completely fine if you are more inclined towards studying the food science or food technology, the theoretical part of the food science and food technology. It is completely fine. There are hundreds of students, there are thousands of students who go for BSc and then they choose MSc. Again, if you want to know uh, the practical side, if you want to apply these principles, you can go for BTEC side. Another important point that I would like to mention over here is that uh, BTEC and BSc entirely is not going to decide your career, is not entirely going to decide your future. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, it also depends on the environment of the college, of the institute. It also depends on the faculties, on the placement records and also on the determination of the student. Now let's say that if you place a uh, place an average student or a, or a student who is not willing to work on himself or herself in a very prestigious college, uh, chances are that he or she is going to fail in his or her career. But on the same scenario, on, on the same hand, if you place a very hardworking, a very dedicated student inside in a college uh, where the facilities are not very much, uh, you know, very much up to the mark, then still he or she is going to build a career for himself or herself. So it also depends on the student. And I always redirect the question back to the student. What are you interested in? If you are interested in theoretical part, then go for BSc. If you uh, want to apply that theory uh, and if you want to learn the practical side as well, then go for BTEC. Also, it depends on the college. So uh, don't be like that. OK, BTEC is better, so I should go for BTEC and BSc is not better, so I should not go for BSc. Again, these two are different streams. And if you have any kind of doubts, you can comment down below. If you have any kind of specific questions that uh, you think I missed in this video, you can also DM me on Instagram at foodtech underscore simplified and I will be happy to help you over there as well. Now, if you are a student who is going to choose food technology or food science as a career choice, then I made a video on why should you choose food technology or food science as your career. I will link that down in the description so that you can watch it and understand for yourself. So before choosing this stream or before choosing any kind of stream, uh, you need to go through a set of questions and what are these set of questions I have mentioned in that video. So this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of specific doubts and make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.